Hi guys! Okay, so this is my first design team project for my porch prints, and that's Stephanie. Um, and I'm going to put all, all the links um, down below under the video. So I've decided to you, to make a journal for this one, and the pack the pack that I used is the Rose Garden Ephemera pack, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's got lots and lots of um, journaling cards and all sorts of things that you can make up. So beautiful so I've made this beautiful journal okay so it's got lots of pages I'm not quite sure I didn't count the pages that I used um, but it's made with some beautiful vintage um, um, crochet and it's absolutely gorgeous so I've got some lace underneath some seam binding on there a little bit of crochet down there and um, a beautiful little rose here and I've made a little tag on here and that says rose and I've got a little um, embroidery flower there and a beautiful little key all on a little um, ball pin. Um, the closure is some seam binding so I've attached two different colours a nice purple and a, a tea stained one um, so it's a fabric cover so it's absolutely gorgeous so these are some of the lovely lovely um, prints the digital from the digital kit this background paper is, is the one that I put it's just I can't remember I think it's Kane and Company um, it's just a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper and what I did I just um, just sewed it and inked it a little bit just so I've got a few different um, pages in, in the book so here I've just made a little pocket and popped a little journaling spot there little tag I've just stuck that one down We've got a little bit of seam binding and a little bit of lace on there and then I've edged it with a, with some lace and we've got a little dingly dangly here with a beautiful little glass bead on there. So on the first page here, so I've got a little, she's got some lovely little quotes in there, flower quotes on the in the kit as well, which is just beautiful. Um, so they're really nice to pop on a, on a page. On here I've just done some journaling pages, just stamped on there so you can do some writing on there. And there's another one which I've made into a little pocket so we've got a little journaling card there are so many I didn't count the the actual um, bits of ephemera in there but there are lots there's got to be 40 plus in there um, and there we go there's another every rose has its thorns and then I've made another little pocket here uh, with another beautiful journaling card and I've left some pages blank because I don't like to fill them up too much because I like somewhere to, which you can write um, on here. And this is a lovely uh, mason jar so I've just done that into a little journaling card and popped a little bow on there. I did sew around the edges. I backed it in some tea stain paper and just sewed around the edges. And then on this page I've just stuck down some lined paper um, to do some journaling on. So here this is some more so this is another piece of uh, what I did on this one I sewed it down here and I was going to use it just as a little tuck but it just kept flapping up for some reason um, so I made a little tag and stuck a little tag and then put another little tag on top and that's just with a little um, brad on there um, to hold it down and then I've just used it as like a little tuck spot um, so I thought that was quite nice and on here we've got a little bow and a little um, just off some broken jewellery I've got here so it's a little metal embellishment there um, here we've got another little tuck spot and which I've just added some lace and a lovely rose on there and then this that I think that looks really really pretty on there just I've just actually just stuck that down onto the page so that looks really nice and I've just got a little belly band on there with another little one on here so I've just used some of the um, scrapbook paper which is really pretty because it's just two pinks on there um, and then just stuck one of the the um, bits of ephemera on there and a bit of lace and I've just made a tag out of this little round tag with some little bits and pieces on and then that's scent that's one of the little words from the kit and here I've just added a little bit of um, fabric and little bow um, this here is you was a round piece of ephemera so it was just like a teacup with flowers around it so I've actually just bent it in half 
and sewed it down so it can it just makes into a, like a little tuck there for both pages. And then we go and then we've got a little postcard. And I've got another little bit of um, the fabric. This is just some pretty sort of shabby chic fabric that I've got. A bit of seamed up binding down the side. It says a bed of roses on there. And then this one I've actually stuck one of the bigger bits of ephemera on there. And then another piece to make a pocket and with a little bit of seam binding on there. And then we've got another one that just tucks in. So there's lots and lots of journaling space space on here as well would smell as sweet so these are this is really nice a bit more of the fabric there this one that i've actually made a little embellishment out of some metal and some of the little um, tiny little fabric flowers and this one i've just made as a top tuck um, so you can just tuck these ones you don't have to keep on there you can just move them about but i thought that looked quite nice sort of like dangling down um, and then we've got another piece there which I think is lovely. The pictures are gorgeous. And this I've just fussy cut that out and stuck it at the top of the page, which looks lovely. There we go. And then we've got some more. We've got another piece of uh, the lined paper on there. So there's lots of journaling there. And we've got another piece there. A little bit of ruffled fabric. And another little tiny little one. I think that's so sweet. And then I've just done that, one of the um, pieces of ephemera there, I've just actually done it, it's like a little tuck spot. So it's got lots of, little bit of seam binding and some fabric and a little bed of roses, one of the sayings out of there. A little bit of cheesecloth. And then um, what I did on this, I've just wrapped, popped a little bow around it. So it goes all the way around and I've just tied it around on there. So I thought that looked quite nice. And um, we've got a little flower there. And then here I've just made two little pockets here um, with another little saying. And this is one of the little bits of ephemera I've just made into a little book. Pop that on there. And then we go. This one I've actually sort of popped it round the side. So we've got a, t a pocket here. I've actually added a little bit of lace there. Um, and then we've got a little tuck spot there. Um, and on here we've got another little fussy cut of the flowers here which looks so pretty on top of the page. And then we've got, I've got another two little pockets there, look, which looks nice. And then I've got a little um, tag on the bowl clip there and some um, seam binding and some lace. And here I've got another little uh, dingly dangly down there. And I've got another saying here. So these, pa these papers are absolutely gorgeous, really, really nice. So this is all for journaling on. You can see where I've inked it on here. You can see the markings of what's behind, but I think that looks really nice. It looks really old. So it looks like it's been there for a long time. And then I've just stuck two here. I've made a little pocket there, put one underneath, and then I've just made that one into a little pocket. And I've actually popped a little bit of fabric along the top and then I've made a little journaling spot there look just with some paper and some stamping and then one of the the words um, sayings on there pop that back in the pocket and there we go we've got another piece I've just stuck on there I think it looks so nice these would look nice you could even put photographs on here as well um, oops there's a little pocket on here, another little journaling spot, little letter. These look like little old little letters on there, which looks nice. Then I've got a little bow, some fabric. I've just these ones. I've just stamped. I've got a tiny little dotty stamp, um, silicon stamp. So I thought it looked quite nice. It gives a little bit of uh, something on the edge there. And on here, there's a little bit of fabric down the side. This page just opens up, so there's a great big journaling page there. And this is lovely. I think these are really nice. I've just stuck that down. I've just added a little bow. Um, so you can just journal on uh, behind that. And that's another journaling spot. This one I've actually popped um, some lined paper on the back there. Just popped it onto the page with a paper clip. 
this side I've got another little um, uh, journaling, not journaling, a little tuck there. So these um, pictures are absolutely gorgeous she's got in there. And they're really, really pretty. Really, really nice. There we go, I've made a little... So these little ones are lovely because the, the little bits of ephemera she's got, they almost like look like stamps. I could have made stamps out of them actually, couldn't I, and put them on here. So that's a good idea for next time. Um, so it's like little letters. And this is a just a little um, envelope that I popped on there. It's got a little tag in there, which is lovely. And here, I've just got a little tuck spot with another little letter there and some seam binding. This one I've stuck one of the big pictures at the back and then I've made it into a little pocket. So I've just stuck one over the top. I popped some seam binding on there and a little bow. And then I've made a little tiny little pull out to write on. So that just sort of like tucks in at an angle. So I thought that looked quite nice too. And then we got a little belly band there. Look at these pictures are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? So, so pretty. And this one was a long one. It's a little bit too long for my journal because it was, it's, this is a um, A6. Let's have a look. I'll measure it in a minute anyway. Um, so I've just popped that down. I'll cut it down just a little bit and then I've made a little, little pocket with it. And then I've just made a little booklet there. And then I've just popped a little bit of um, cheesecloth behind. And then we've got another one. Did I wrap that round? No. It's just another little pocket. And this is just a little journaling space in there. Lots and lots of lovely, lovely ephemera in this pack. I've got another pocket here. Another look. These like look like little stamps, aren't they? So they're lovely. Lots of lovely little letters in here to write on. It's so pretty. I've got a little um, tag that says blossom on there, which I've just cut a cut a little tag shape out. Um, popped a little bit of fabric on top, and then popped one of the little word sayings on there. So I thought that was really nice, just to dingle dangle off. And look at that! How pretty is that? To so the teacup with the roses beautiful and I'll just add a little bit of fabric and some lace and a little bow on there so I thought that looked really nice as a just a page uh, element to it and there's a lovely little pocket there with a nice little journaling spot there's lovely roses another pocket that uh, we've got another one of these little letters on there and they're really really nice and they're so easy to make and there's one of my hearts. Um, I did a tutorial on that one, so I will put a link to that below as well. And I've just put some fabric, a little bit of seam binding, just to enhance the um, outline of the heart a little bit. And then we've got some seam binding down there. And then we've got a little pocket here. And this one we've got a little journaling space. And then this comes out. I've got a tiny little that opens up so you can journal in it. Put a little bit of lace on top. But it's quite a little thin pocket, so um, that's why I had a little thin bit here. So I've just layered two of the pictures on there, um, which I thought which looks really good. And then I've got another little journaling spot there that opens out. It just tucks in there. Oh, there's another pocket there, so I've made a little booklet. And that just tucks in like that and I think that's probably it and then we've got another little back there and then we've got um, a little um, embroidery flower down there so there we go guys this is lovely the papers are absolutely gorgeous so do pop along to her Etsy shop because um, you get loads and loads I will put how many you get in there underneath the video but I didn't count but you get lots and lots um, and I think it just came out really, really pretty like that. And it just does up with a little bit of seam binding there. So there we go, so, go guys. I hope you like it. Um, please pop along to Stephanie's shop, My Porch Prints. 
and the kit that I used was um, Rose Garden Ephemera Pack so it's absolutely gorgeous all right guys thank you so much and thank you Stephanie for letting me um, be on your team all right take care bye bye